Well guys, a big thank you for joining me on the next episode. I've actually come out to a new location today. Just have a little look and see what there might be whilst field walking here. And I just found this small fragment just here. It's, a, it's only a flake, a bit of debitage, but it looks like it's been reworked into a small blade so it's not too bad a little find let's see what else i can find stick with me everyone and wish me luck here we go looks like we've got another little Got the cortex still on that. Looks like another piece of worked flint. Again, just another piece of debitage, I think. Still a nice find. It's actually quite a difficult field to search. The ground is rock hard and there's crops here. Looks like potatoes, probably. been out for about half an hour and I found a couple of pieces so far but it's a lovely day so I'm gonna make the most of it
Well, you've got a pretty cool hammerstone there. It's a bit better than the one I found just a moment ago. It's nicely shaped. So I'm down here in the ditch. I don't mind rustling around in a ditch. Certainly not the first time I've done that. Oh, we got another piece of... Now that flint's lovely. I like the colour of that. Again, it's still got the cortex on there. Looks like it's been reworked. So it's a reworked flake into a little knife. And it looks polished as well. It's got striking the bulb of percussion just there and I can see some st striking ripples on that as well it's quite a small tool so it wouldn't surprise me if this is mesolithic mesolithic items are usually quite tiny yeah it's a nice item quite interesting down there in the ditch I can actually see fragments of pottery can't get down there though beneath our feet is a world of history waiting to be discovered and field walking is a wonderful way to discover that history it's a pastime easily shared with the family and it's hands-on history that you can touch with your hands. Field walking is non-evasive and the best time to go hunting is late in the autumn and during the winter months after the fields have been harvested and the soil has been ploughed. You will be surprised with what you might find. Pottery sherds, Roman tile and brick and a scattering of flint tools are common finds. Well I've found a a neat little a braider stone here that's been cut and again there's a few flakes here some debitage ah bingo like a scraper again a piece of just a piece of reworked flake oh, I love the colour though that's like a kind of grey and again I think that could be a piece of mesolithic scraping tool Picked up a nice piece of blood red flint there. It's a broken piece. I'm quite pleased with that, that's quite nice. So I've got another piece just here. And I spoke about these in my last episode. So I'll drop the link and you can have a little watch. But that's promising with these um, blood red flint pieces. It means this field might be worth a visit later in the year. And it's been ploughed. But it doesn't look like it's been ploughed for about 20 years, to be honest with <laughs> you. It's rock hard. 
You don't need a metal detector for this kind of treasure hunting. And you're not digging any holes to retrieve items found. All you need is a good pair of eyes. It's also easy. It gets you into the fresh air and it's a wonderful way to teach your children the history that lies beneath our feet. Any finds you do discover can be recorded with the Portable Antiquities Scheme, which is voluntary, but important too, as your finds might open up previously unknown historical sites, so your hard work will add to our knowledge and understanding of the history of that given land. Beneath our feet is a world waiting to be discovered. Well everyone, it's not been the best day for finding a few prehistoric tools, but I got lucky with a couple of hammer stones. Some nicely shaped one just there. And that one there. I'm hoping you can see these okay in the camera. I've got a little slice here. It's been sliced I found quite a few pieces like this in the past. I'm pretty sure they were probably used as abrader tools for when they were making flint pieces, flint tools and arrows and and the like. I'm hoping you can see that okay. I'll probably show you these like this actually. I'm pretty sure you're gonna see them a lot better. little tiny knife there. It's got the cortex still on that. These are just oh, this little knife or scraper. Another little knife, still got the cortex on that. Nice colour flint. Little piece there. And that's quite nice. That's actually been, I don't know if you can see that, that's been worked all the way around that. Some kind of scraping tool, or perhaps even a very early leaf shaped arrow. I'm not 100% sure. Another little knife just there. And just here. And of course, we've got the hammer stones. And the abrade at all. So that's pretty much it, guys. Maybe better luck next time, eh? I'm pleased with that. Okay, everybody. Huge thank you for joining me. It's a shame Yana couldn't be here today, but Yana's at school. And I didn't really want to miss out on this glorious day. I'm glad I came out. Not found the best tools in the world, but I'm pleased with what I did find. And hopefully next one, my next trip out, hopefully I find something a bit more interesting. Perhaps another axe like I did in the last episode, that would be very cool. beautiful out here very nice okay everyone I wish you all well good luck with your own searching and your own treasure hunting stay safe and I'll see you all soon bye for now Bye.
to say.